When we do analysis in GIS, when we're trying to understand something or find out information or essentially ask a question, what we normally do is we issue a query to the GIS. And query in everyday speak means a question, and essentially it is a question. But when we interact with the GIS system, a query is actually a statement that we want the computer to evaluate to find out where it's true and where it's not true. And so in working with ArcMap, we have a way of issuing queries to work with both non-spatial attribute data and also with spatial data. And so what I want to do here is walk through both types of queries to show how you construct them and how they work. So here I have three uh, layers from the USA folder, rivers, lakes, and states, and I'm going to issue some non-spatial attribute queries for the states layer. So I'm going to open up the states attribute table by right-clicking and then choosing open attribute table from the drop-down menu. And this brings up the attribute table. Whenever you're doing uh, analysis or looking at data, it's always a good practice to kind of look through the attribute table to see what kinds of information are already available to you because that might save you time later when you're looking for for answering a question that might be done in several ways but if the data is already there then that should save you time so I'm particularly interested for the moment in two fields one is the subregion field it shows which subregion each state belongs to and I'm also interested in the POP 2005 field which shows populations for 2005, and that data comes from the census. So let's say that I'm interested in identifying all the states that belong to the New England subregion. So the way that I find that out is that I issue a query to the computer, an attribute query in this case. And I do that in two, one of, I can do that one of two ways. If the table's already open, there's a table options button in the upper left of the table. And if you click on that drop down button, it'll bring up a context menu and the select by attributes is the one that I want that will bring up my query dialog window. Alternatively, I can go straight to the selection menu on the main toolbar, and or the main menu bar rather. Now this can be accessed whether or not the table is open. The table does not have to be open to access this. Either way will work. So I'm going to select by attributes and what that does is it brings up this um, select by attributes dialog window where I'm going to create my query. So the first thing to be aware of is that what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're querying the right layer. So in this case my question is going to the states layer. So definitely make sure that it's selecting there. Secondly, this lower area is where I choose the field where the information is located. So again, my question is which states belong to the New England subregion? Okay. So the subregion field or column is the one that contains information about the subregion that each state belongs to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to construct my query. So let me clear this area here. So the query is going to be input right here essentially and the query is going to be structured in what's called SQL statement or standard query language or excuse me structured query language. Uh, and, and we say SQL or SQL when we refer to it. And it's just a way of formatting the question or the query for the computer to evaluate. So in order to find out which states belong to the New England subregion, what I'll do is I'll double click on subregion here. It adds it to this window down here. And then I'm going to use one of these expressions to evaluate the relationship that I want to test. So in this case, I'm going to use the equal sign and then I might use this button right here called get unique values and essentially what that does it just shows me all of the unique entries that are into that that are in that field so in this case I'm interested in New England so when I double click on New England it gets added to this area down here so now what we're looking at is a SQL statement or actually technically part of a SQL statement the computer kind of does some of the work for you but essentially what it is it's a statement that you want to have tested so what the computer is going to do is it's going to look at every single record in this table and particularly within the subregion field and essentially look to see whether this statement is true in that case. So for example, if we started at the first record in this table, we see that the first record has Pacific in the subregion. So that would not be true, right? In that case, subregion does not equal 
New England for that instance, so it wouldn't be selected. And it would continue to go down record by record and record until it hit one where the statement was true, and that will get selected. Right? So that's essentially what it's going to do. So when I hit OK or apply, the one will work. What will happen is the records in the attribute table become selected, they turn blue. You'll also notice the features that are associated with those records also turn blue. So it's essentially accomplished the selection, the query has been performed. You can do all kinds of different queries. So let's bring up that select by attributes window again, or the dialog window. And this time let's ask a question about population. So looking at the POP 2005 column, that's the one that contains information about populations. So this time I'm going to say, well, I'm looking for states with populations over 10 million people. How many states have more than 10 million people in them? So I'll double click on POP 2005. Again, that's the column that contains the information. And this time I'll use the greater than symbol. Remember that the thing that's on the left of the greater than is what you're trying to evaluate if it's greater than. And then I'm going to type in my number. So I said 10 million, right? So it's 10 followed by six zeros. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So the statement that we're looking to evaluate, the query, says find those records where the population in that record is greater than 10 million. Right? And again, it's going to go through this column, the POP 2005 column. So I hit apply. Okay. And you can tell right off the bat from looking at the map that a number of states have been chosen, not too many of them. And if we look at the table, we can see at the bottom on the status bar right here that eight have been selected. Alternatively, I can click on the Show Selected Records button and see which eight those were. Right? And not surprisingly, they're the larger states in the country. But there's only eight of them that have that many people. Right? So I'll go back to Show All Records. And you can see that the records are just kind of scattered throughout that table. All right, let's try a slightly different query. Instead of greater than, okay, I'll do less than or equal. Okay, so now I'm looking for states that have less than 10 million or equal to 10 million. Important point to, to, to keep in mind is that the, in this case, if a state had 10 million people, it would be selected. If I left off the equal sign, it would have to be less than that number in order to be selected. Okay, so I hit apply again, and you can see many more records get selected this time. And we can see that most of the country falls into this category. In fact, most of the states by far in the U.S. have less than 10 million people in them, right? So relatively small population. Includes Massachusetts with about 6 million people. All right, let's look at another one. So this time I'm going to change, let me clear this so that we're working with a clean slate. Um, Let's go back to the subregion for, for a moment. So I, before I said subregion equals New England, and that one selected uh, just the states that were in the New England subregion. I could say subregion not equal to, get unique values, and then New England. And what's happening here in this statement is that I'm looking for, I'm, I'm asking it to test all the records to find where subregion is not equal to New England. That's what that little sign there means, not equal to. Okay. So how many records do you think will be selected? Well, let's take a look. When I apply that, what you'll see is that, well, most of the country is not in New England. And if you look closely at the map, you'll see too that New England is the only part that's not selected. So it's a quick way of selecting all of the other records. right? All of these expressions right here evaluate uh, a, a different kind of situation, and you want to be careful about which ones you use. Equal, not equal, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. Okay? And there's other more complex uh, queries that you can const construct, but that's essentially how they work.